the flower of life, the pillar of death. Just as in the time of Nazi Germany, where Hitler and his army of control freaks took aim at the minorities and non-conforming citizens within his country and ultimately, surrounding states, now too, in America, and in the world in general, the minorities are being targeted by the state in a very big way. But manipulation is not just by the national and state governments, but by many different segments of society who have been hypnotically paced and led by the Luciferian elitists, for the express purpose of manipulating the masses to exercise their beliefs as pertaining to their morals, or their religious devotion to God, or their concept of love, and so on. All segments of society have been herded to make judgments of one another even though much of their indoctrination supposedly teaches that they should not judge. Just like Nazi Germany it would seem that every self-righteous self-serving ideology has set their sights on those who have a different perspective on whatever their own concept of right and wrong might be. Throughout this blog, it's been stated and demonstrated over and over again, that there is no such thing as right or wrong. There is no black or white, in spite of what Freemasonic style secret societies and other religions and intellectual institutions might wish to implant within our psyche. There is no sin, no hell, no God, no devil. Because everything in this illusory plane is simply an illusion. In other words, there is actually no 3D universal plane except for the existence of it within a dream state, which is a total and complete fraudulent state of manipulated colors, shapes and sounds, dancing in our minds. Therefore, to assist in explaining the judgments that different segments of society make of each other, it seems prudent at this time to illustrate how this 3D illusory plane was initiated which will lend support to all segments of society. This, despite how vile one segment is perceived to be by the others. There is no need for anyone to judge anyone else, for judgment is a condition and a characteristic perpetrated within the trance state. Anyone, or any segment of society that attacks any other segment of society is standing as someone naked in the light of truth. For no one's concept of what is right or wrong in this illusory plane is any better or worse than anyone else's perception of right or wrong. Simply because, as mentioned, within this illusory plane, there is no right or wrong. The chart below illustrates how the conjured up creation was initiated, and how it was set into a state of regeneration of reproductive capability. Flower of life, the large blue portion on the left side of this chart represents the pillars that stood in front of Solomon's temple. These were called the B and G pillars. So called after the names Boaz and Gikan, or Jikan. These were the pillars of sacrifice from where the priests carried the slaughtered offering into the temple holy place, and from there, to be offered up to God for the people since by the high priest who could only enter into the holy of holies. It was in the holy of holies where the angels, angles spread their wings over the ark, ark of the covenant which contained the ten commandments. Keep in mind, there is no God, there is no sin, and the name Solomon, is just a zodiacally inspired name alluding to the worship of the sun and moon, or by extension, the sun and mother. The blue pillar portion of this diagram represents the phallic symbol, or the male penis when erect. The geometric circles at the top of the pillar represents the female vulva. Together, the penis and the vulva represent the ability to bring forth a new illusory life form. The seed passes from the male to the female through the sex act, and as a result of this intense and, usually, pleasurable thought process, a new life is conjured up, or set in motion to become a new three-dimensional being. This is the result of a basic hypnotic trance inducement suggestion, which can result in the belief of a new life form being born. These life forms, within the human species, and within all of the animal kingdom, are either male or female. Humanity is made up of boys and girls. A reference to the B and G sacrifice pillars. Interestingly, by changing the B and G to a B and Y equals by, and when multiplied by 2 equals by B or baby. In the center of the flower of life vulva symbol at the top of the penis pillar, the reader should notice how the DNA strand of two intertwining lines is present. One such strand has been colored a darker pink to help it stand out. However, DNA strands are present in all directions that this basic geometric pattern allows. This flower of life is formed by overlapping circles. Overlapping circles, drawn at equal distances apart and drawn at the intersecting points of the circles, creates a pattern of ovals. Oval equals evil equals vulva. Intersecting or intersection equals intersect sign equals becoming one sun. The initiation of this geometric design came about as a result of a thing called pride, or self-centered egotistical thought. This is the ego equals yo equals I. Thought equals thoth the ancient Egyptian creator god of all things three-dimensional. The ovals are created by overlapping the circles, or again, are created by observing a circle at an angle, where a distorted view of the circle comes into view. 
The circle now appears to be long and narrow, however, in the whole scheme of things, this is just a distortion. The whole circle is there, it's just that it's not perfectly round any longer. This use of distortion is then carried throughout the whole 3D illusory plane, and is implemented whenever and wherever truths need to be hidden. This is the duality nature of the universe, things are not as they appear to be. This duality nature is repeated again, with the expression of the boy and girl, or man and woman, the two sacrifice pillars, that have the ability to conjure up life for the express purpose of performing a death ritual. Humanity is indoctrinated to believe that life is sacred, and that we reproduce out of our love for God, for human life, etc., but no, we just like to fuck and create an illusion of our undying love based on our self-centered self-righteous egotistical spirit energy that the thought process manifests through us in this illusory plane. The word fuck is derived from the name of the Great Pyramid in Egypt. Qfu equals fuck equals fuck. Notice also on the chart above, how, when drawing straight lines from the points of the small and in circles that come in contact with the outer big circle, two perfect pyramids are formed. One is referred to as the male pyramid, and the other is the female pyramid, only inverted. These two pyramids, when overlaid, form the six-pointed star, or the atom symbol, when the lines are extended to form oval paths that the electrons follow as they spin around the nucleus. See the atom symbol chart immediately below, with the six-pointed star straight lines made to be curved, thereby forming ovals, or vulvas, representing the female sex organs. The atom symbol is the first atom, or the first man. The light energy that emanates from this atom is called the Eve, or the coming of the light. This is the basis for the Adam and Eve fable present within the religions of the world and is adhered to among the intellectual teachings of the world in the form of this thing we call science. Worth noting also, is that the pillars of Solomon's temple had decorations built on the very top of each pillar. Quite often, these decorations were in the shape of a lotus flower, sometimes called the flower of life. So called after being conjured up similar in appearance to the geometric overlapped circles shown in the diagram above. Sometimes the decorations were the branches of palm trees, etc. But always representing the general shape of the vulva, putting forth, or giving birth to life. All of which is illusory, and not really life at all, but the birth of death. These decorations were called capitals. The word capitals, in the English language, is always spelled with a letter O instead of inner for the last vowel in the word when speaking of life giving birth to death, or whenever anything symbolic is representing a sacrifice yet to occur, as were the pillars of Solomon's temple, and the twin towers of the World Trade Center which were sacrificed on September 11th, the sacrifice is also symbolized by the Capitol building in Washington DC, which is located on Capitol Hill, which in turn, is named after Capitoline Hill in ancient Rome. Capitoline Hill is one of the seven ancient hills of Rome. The word capital is also present when referring to the Washington State Capitol Legislature. All of these capitals were, and are, symbols of sacrifices performed, but more importantly, symbols of the most massive sacrifice yet to be performed. All legislative buildings in all states and in Washington, D.C. use the spelling of capital with the letter O. This relates to the sacrificial work and nature of government, which is what Solomon's Temple was. Solomon's temple was a religious and political house where the dictator would dictate life and death as he saw fit. When the governments insist on the separation of church and state, or the separation of religion and government, this is simply bullshit. One is the other. Two sides of the same coin. Light beam and square. The waning and waxing volve moon, full moon, new moon. The chart immediately below illustrates again, how the oval, or the vulva is related to the waning and waxing moons. As the moon moves through its lunar cycle of 28 days, which relates to the female reproductive cycle of 28 days, the oval, vulva appears on the 3D moon in the sky, and after 14 days, the point at which conception is most likely, the vulva disappears as a full, or vulva moon, or, 14 days later, as a new moon. This indoctrinates the 3D masses with the notion of the moon being a goddess, and the reproductive cycle as being sanctified by God, and therefore a sacred and holy thing. This reproductive cycle is followed by water breaking when a baby is about to be born, which in turn, implants solidly within our psyche, the notion of a coming flood. All of this is the result of the thought process, and all of it is a manipulation and distortion of reality. The oval, vulva, vesica Pisces are represented by the Pisces twin fishes on the zodiac chart. This symbol again represents the twin pillars of Solomon's temple and the twin towers of the WTC. The oval, Vulva is symbolized by the Oval Office of the President of the USA, and when the President looks out his window, 
he looks directly at the Washington Monument. All 555.5 feet of phallic pinal symbology. When taking three ovals, and overlapping them at 120 degree angles, or 120 angels, the atom, Adam and Eve symbol is formed, making the atom symbolic of procreation and the reproductive cycle of life. Penis <laughs>